So the Bayh-Dole Act is a law that was passed in 1980. Prior to 1980, all the US government agencies had a different policy about intellectual property. Sometimes the university could own, sometimes the agency would own. And at the time, the view was that even though the government kept title to many of these inventions, they were just lying fallow in the patent office. Nothing was happening to them. And as you can imagine, it can be pretty bureaucratic to deal with the government. So after a little bit of effort, about two years effort by the universities, they lobbied and were successful in getting this law passed, which enabled the universities to take title to government-funded inventions. So it became a uniform law, which was really nice. So that meant any time um, the government funded research at a university, and at Stanford, 85% of the research is funded by the government, then the university had a first crack at all the inventions that came out of the research. If we wanted to take title, we could. If we didn't want to take title, then it would go back to the government. Title would go back to the government, and they could then take title. So again, this law made it uniform for all universities in the US. It was an incentive for many of the tech transfer offices to set up licensing offices. And they're the ones who tell us how to license government-funded inventions. So since 1980, tech transfer in the US has flourished. And there is a view internationally that this law made the transfer of knowledge from the universities to industry faster. It enabled this transfer of knowledge to happen in a more formalized way. And therefore, the US kept its or increased its technological advantage. So they think of us as high tech, and they think that Baidol had a role to play in it. So recently, in the last five years or so, um, Countries all over the world have been looking at this very, very seriously, and many of them have been passing laws that are very similar to this Bayh-Dole Act. So in Japan, for example, about five years ago, they passed the law that has started to, to move toward the Bayh-Dole thing. But in the, the non-US countries, most of them said that the inventions belong to the inventor. So this has been pretty much a sea change for the countries to change their basic law about universities. And even in Japan, it was illegal for um, um, university people to start companies or to consult in a way that would be um, viewed as a potential conflict of interest. So they've had to do a lot of rethinking in all the countries. So Japan has now changed to a Baidol-ish system. Taiwan is like that. Um, this, the European countries have gradually changed. Uh, Germany is changing. Um, Scandinavia is, Denmark is changing, but Finland maybe, and et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of the countries are changing gradually. But it's making the faculty at the universities unsure, because they used to own an invention, and now the university is stepping in and claiming ownership. So that relationship between faculty and university is changing. And then between companies and the faculty are changing. Many faculty in these countries who didn't have Baidol would say, OK, okay um, if you company will give me research funding, then I'll give you my invention. And it could be royalty free, whereas now the universities are expected to get some royalty. And so again, the industry is not sure that they like this. But I think it is going to be a change in the, in the world.